Good morning, everyone. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Cindy. I'm currently doing work for UCLA Media Team and throughout the whole entire summer at UCLA Housing. Um, that's our Snapchat, our Facebook, our Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. We're doing um, tours, like summer residence hall tours of all the residence halls so incoming students, students can kind of see what they look like. So today we're doing Hedrick Hall and it's on Snapchat and then the other days we're gonna be doing other things. So make sure you follow us on Snapchat um, to see all that. We're doing it every single weekday. But basically, I'll be doing a little tour on my vlog as well for you all. Since I know not only like incoming students are interested, I know a lot of people who watch my vlogs are super interested in like what UCLA like looks like and like the dorms and things like that, or residence halls. Outside's really pretty, majestic looking. So again, this is Hedrick Hall. A lot of um, first year students do live here um, in Hedrick Hall and Hedrick Summit, which is like right next door. So yeah. So here you have the Hedrick Hall front desk, so you can come here if you need, or like if you lock yourself out of your room and you need another um, room key or you need trash bags, just anything kind of wrong, you just can talk to the front desk. And then here, there's a lot of study rooms here in Hedrick Hall, so here's one. Uh, we'll keep on going. But during the summertime, they take out all the furniture. So usually there's like tables and couches and things like that, but during the summertime, um, it's used for a lot of meeting rooms and camps and orientations, things like that. So as you can see in this room, they have like a bunch of chairs set up and all the couches are kind of pushed towards the back, but usually there's like couches, tables, things like that all the time. So Hedrick Hall is a classic residential hall. So it, that means it is the cheapest, but that means when I'll show you in the rooms, the rooms are smaller and there's no AC in the rooms. Now there's room right, there's, <laughs> So there's AC right now like in the lobby areas and things like that, but there isn't AC in the rooms itself. So that's a really uh, important thing to keep in mind. Um, but like I said, it is um, the cheapest option. So, and then here you have the vending room, which is just like the biggest vending machine room I've ever seen. Here at UCLA, look, you have the microwave, you have a change machine, you have like ramen and sandwiches and things like that. You have a coffee machine, classic snacks, yum. Um, what else is here? Look at that. Ice cream, like drinks and ice and just super, super cool. And then continuing down the hall, this is really cool. I've never seen this in any residence hall either, is a music practice room. So I guess you can like, again, there's furniture in here during the school year, but they just empty it out during the summer. So that's cool. Here's like another example of a study room. So you all can see, usually there's tables in there and you can see there's like a cork board and a whiteboard. So it's perfect for studying. Really, really great. There's another one. There you see some tables. And then here you have this really big room. I have no idea what this is for, but this is cool. It reminds me of like a dance room with like the gigantic mirrors. Also on my other YouTube channel, Infinitely Cindy, I'm going to be doing, or I actually already have it made, I just have to upload it. It's a types of UCLA dorms, like residence halls, to, so you can compare the difference between a classic, a deluxe, a plaza, and a suite, like the differences in those four types of housing here at UCLA. Okay, so we're gonna head up to the rooms now. And here's a better example of what a study room looks like. And this is actually on the residence hall floor. So there's one on every floor. And you got the tables, chairs, and then whiteboard. And so great for collaborating and doing group work and things like that. Okay, so the first room we're gonna tour is a triple. And that means there's three people living in this room. So this is one of the cheapest options um, at UCLA in general. So it's in the classic residence hall and there's three people in this room. So on the left side of the door here, you have this nice mirror. Then you have a little towel rack right there. And then on this side, you also have some towel racks. And then you also have um, these nice big dressers with another mirror inside, a little shelf, and um, a little pole to hang your clothes. Same thing right here. Oh, nope, here you have some dressers, or like drawers. That's cool. Look at that. Yep, and you have a little wire basket right there. And then you have some storage up top there. And then it's the same thing on this side with the drawers. And then on this left side, you have a bunk bed. So obviously top bunk, bottom bunk, and some storage underneath. On this side, you have the lofted bed. So there's just the lofted bed up there. And then you have a little dresser underneath, as well as a desk. Then you have another desk right here. And then the other desk is right here. And here's what the view looks like on the fourth floor. Super, super pretty. 
And then what's also great about UCLA dorms, you should know from like my dorm tours and all the tours we've been doing, is that the walls have this awesome fabric material. It's like a cork board kind of. So you can easily put push pins and hang things up really, really easily in your dorm. So this is kind of what it looks like. And then here's one last little overview. Again, this is a triple classic room in Hedrick Hall. All right, so now we're in a double room. Now, right now, it's gonna look exactly the same with the mirror, the towel racks, the dressers right there, more towel racks, dressers, like little cabinet things. But the real difference you'll see is the room's a lot more spacious. Now, the room size is the same. It's just you don't have that extra desk, dresser, and um, bed in there. So you just have the two beds, which you can raise higher if you want, like according to the rungs right here, if you want more room under your bed for storage, which is great. And then you have one desk right here, another one right here, and you have this really awesome view of Sunset Rec, which is one of our recreational centers. You can see the pools right there, trees, absolutely gorgeous. So here's one little overview of a Hedrick Hall double room. So again, Hedrick Hall is a classic residential hall. So another thing that's different, so first you have no AC, and then um, the rooms are a little smaller, but it is the cheapest. And then you also have a communal restroom. So there's a restroom on each floor for each gender, um, and this is how it kind of works. So you don't have a private or you don't have a shared bathroom. So you have a communal one for the whole floor for like each gender. So you have like three sinks over here, big mirror, three sinks over here, big mirror, and then over here, you have some bathroom stalls. So these look like regular toilets, <laughs> very basic. Um, on this side, you have the showers, which look like this. You have hooks and shelves for your stuff, shower, curtain, things like that. So this is where you wanna bring your shower shoes, or like flip flops, so you can walk along like the bathroom while you're doing everything. Now this is completely different. This is a classic haul from a deluxe haul, which um, I made some videos about it just a couple days ago. It was Sproul Hall, or sorry, Sproul Cove and Sproul Landing. Um, and those bathrooms are so much bigger and the rooms are bigger. So the deluxe does make a difference and you do have AC, but it is still communal, um, unlike plazas, which have private and shared bathrooms. All right, I'm walking back to the office, or like working back to work. It's like Kelvin is here, had to bring him some lunch. And this is Gabby, she watches our videos, or my videos, so, ah, more infinities. Okay, yeah, I gotta head back to work, so we're gonna talk to Gabby a little more, head back to work. Yeah. Okay, everyone, so literally the only thing I've been doing this whole time is watching the Olympics and packing. I'm basically all packed, the only thing is I need my laptop and charger, but I have my purse, glasses, and put all that in my backpack. That stuff, okay, the reason, I'm only going home for like five days, but the reason I have so much stuff is it's all filming stuff. Literally this entire suitcase, I have like four outfits for myself, and the rest is just clothes on clothes on clothes. I have to do, I have to do my Victoria's Secret pink, um, like brand training haul, I have to do my Pink Friday haul, I have to do a back to school haul and lookbook. So I have like my um, tripod and just lots of filming stuff, so that's why I'm packed like a crazy woman. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Olympics. Okay, everyone, so I'm here at Sushi with Kelvin. It's, we're back at non-stop with all you sushi. We haven't had all you sushi in forever, so that's why we're like, all right, let's go. And also, I'm gonna be gone for five days home in Vegas, so Kelvin's gonna, gonna just eat chicken breast and salad at home. I already have it prepared. It was on sale, so I bought, I think, 24 pounds of it. It's like four packages. It was like six 24 pounds. 24 pounds of chicken breast. But yeah. All right, I'll vlog when the comes out. We, I'm so excited. Cool. All right, so the first thing we have are the baked mussels. Super delicious, like this. Why did they give us seven? We had two orders. I don't know. We just kind of threw them on there, I guess. Oh, I think it's eight. This one's two. There's two right here. Just kind of got mixed or lost in shell. Yum. Out of all the times we've had mussels here, this is definitely the best time. I so good. I go for another, like, two orders. Oh, yeah, I'm down. This is so good today. Good lord. <laughs> Good okay. lord. Alright, we have the uni, which looks great. Scallop, um, albacore, amberjack, clam. Uni is one order per person, right? Yeah. Salmon, squid, tuna. We have a honeymoon roll, dynamite roll, dragon roll, and philly roll. Damn. 
Okay, everyone, it's the next day now, and this is just gonna be that little ending for the um, yesterday's vlog. But look who I'm with. Yes, so. <laughs> Um, I went over to MJ's for her birthday party last night. It was lit. It was so much fun. So, yeah, it's wild. It was wild. <laughs> <laughs> so, we had lots of fun, but mm -hmm. I unfortunately didn't vlog any of it. But this little portion. No, fortunately. Oh. Fortunately, she yeah. didn't. I dry apples to snaps. <laughs> so, we will, we will relive this, this night through my snaps. Oh, no. But, um, okay, so I hope you all enjoyed. And I will, right now, I'm literally about to head out to Vegas. So, I'm going to drive for a couple hours. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!